Hey guys, welcome back to my closet in another weekly video. We're on a roll here. One of my favorite videos to watch and also to film over the years has been Pack With Me, what I took on vacation, how I packed, how I organized. I told you guys in my last video, I'm headed to a quick little getaway down in Florida with some of my bestest girlfriends from college and high school and we're all coming together for a weekend in Florida and I'm so excited, really excited to just escape the cold. It's in the teens here and I don't need it to be scorching hot, I just need it to be warmer than 19 degrees. Just going for a quick weekend and I am going to share with you everything I'm taking in my suitcase, some cute outfits and my travel accessories, skincare, makeup, jewelry. I think I'm going to film what's actually in my suitcase, which is a hot mess behind me tomorrow because I'm still waiting on a couple packages to arrive and not sure what outfits I'm taking, but I do know what makeup and skincare I'm taking because it never changes. So we'll start there. This is my big bag from Stony Clover. I customized it with the glam letters. Um, it's really pretty. This is a huge bag. It's actually way bigger than I was expecting when I ordered it. Fits a ton but it's nylon and it's wipeable, so it's great for makeup and skincare if things were to, God forbid, spill. So I have both makeup and skincare. I have, this is like my main catch-all, and then I have this little clear one, and then I have another Stony Clover. So we'll start here. Okay, hairbrush. I'm taking very minimal skincare because I'm still kind of healing from the chemical peel. So I have my retinol and my bleaching cream. This is part of like the aftercare post peel and my sunscreen, which also came with the chemical peel. My cleanser's in the bathroom. That'll be in here too. Foundation, my NARS, the light reflecting. I freaking love this. I'm in the shade Santa Fe. I'm also taking the Dior concealer. All of these things I think I used and shared in my last video where I was getting ready. My Tarte corrector and this palette with the cream bronzer and blushes. It's a great all-in-one travel palette. The colors, the blushes are beautiful on their own, but I've also been mixing the two of them together. So that gives you even more options. The shadow palette I'm taking is my Charlotte Tilbury, and I'll link everything in the description box. I'm also taking this hourglass one, just in case I want a little bit of shimmer. It's in the shade Blaze. My cream shadow for the base, which I did use. Um, translucent set powder this is the little travel size it comes with the big one and it's in the Nordstrom sale every year so I always stock up so I have a travel size dry shampoo mascara the two mascaras the Charlotte Tilbury and the Ilia which I've shared a little travel of my Urban Decay set spray I just use a different container only two lipsticks kind of sexy which is what I have on right now and down to an art which I think is the one I had on in that last video and I think I have two liners, but I'm only seeing one. This is Makeup Forever 2C. This is a classic, and I should have Iconic Nude in here, but I don't. It's probably in my purse. And then eyeliner is Walk of No Shame from Charlotte Tilbury. I'm bringing my Bare Minerals Concealer, really just to set, and the Well Rested. The Bare Minerals Concealer, as I shared in my last one, also has SPF. I'm bringing the U Beauty um, Defender for some extra added SPF and protection from blue light, and then my glue for my eyebrows. It's not a lot, right? I feel like I have downsized quite a bit over the years when it comes to traveling and everything I take along. All right, next up, these are the little clear pouches. I share these on Instagram all the time. This is the medium size. And in here, I just have a few brushes, three, for eyeshadow, my concealer brush, my foundation brush, and then one for bronzer, one for cream blush. I'm bringing my Morphe sponge, my toothbrush. Um, also I have in here, this is, I've never tried this before, but I thought it was a good little travel size. It's a cleanse balm, cleanse off balm, and a muslin. I have a comb in here. I usually use this to brush out curls. My hero patches just in case a little zit pops up. I brought some eye patches, eyelash curler, hair tie, new lash, my eyelash serum for nighttime, and then 
just some random things. Floss, a nail file, tweezers, Q-tips, these little things that I put in my hair to keep my hair back. Toothpaste, the little bite toothpaste. I shared this on Instagram. It's like solid. They're like mints, but it turns into toothpaste. And this is the little thing to get out the SPF. And floss, like I said. So that's in here. They're great because these are also wipeable. You can clean them. I've washed them out, rinsed them out. You can like put them upside down to dry and they're very inexpensive. And then in this one, I'm putting less stuff that can actually spill. This is the Stony Clover one. I customized to say things. It's a clear pouch, so I love that. But I bought this with the intention of having this in my pool bag. So just my like grab and goes, not so much my skincare, but what I would take down to the pool with the exception of a couple things that didn't fit. So my deodorant is in here. I wouldn't put this in here for a pool bag and my body lotion, my lavish, which I love. Um, but everything else I will take with me I think. Well, maybe not these. This is my pen that cleans my rings, my jewelry pen. It's in here. But yeah, everything else I would bring down. Put this in a pool bag. So I have hand lotion, my lavish favorite, a hair clip. This one I think I got in Nashville like a few years back. Sunscreen, a little Kula spray. This is a cuticle nail pen. For dry cuticles, my lip balm, which I also use at night from Ilia, and then my face fan if I need it. Um, and then I have the little charger too in my charger bag. So this I can just take out the deodorant and lotion and throw this in my pool bag. I usually always like to keep something like this just with those necessities and the things I have in here less chance of spillage and ruining this bag. This is a much nicer quality. It has a really nice zipper. Um, I love the bright colors. Okay, and then last but not least, I have my jewelry, which could change a little bit depending on my outfits, but really I just brought like my, my favorite catch-all, my favorite jewels that I wear like daily and then I know some of the outfits I'm bringing for nighttime. This little pouch I got from Target. If you follow me on Instagram, you are not a stranger to these. I shared these around the holidays. They came out with them. I got them in a few different colors. I love them. This goes right in my carry-on. I do not ever, I, oh, I do not ever check this because it's just too valuable. And then this pulls out and I have um, little earrings, little um, pearl earrings from Selendot. There's a pendant. I have some LV little heart hoops in the middle one and then I don't know if you can see this in the bottom I have some Chanel crystal studs up here let me flip you around I have some crystal studs from Amazon which I can link they're really nice quality some little gold hoops cross pave hoops from Miranda Fry I do have a discount code with them and these are little crystal huggies from Stella Dot all of my rings a lot of turquoise ones and like pretty crystals there. I have some travel perfumes and I keep them in here because these are pricey. <laughs> this is the Baccarat and look how much I have left. So then I brought these to layer and to wear. Um, Melora, Meliora from um, the Parfum de Marly brand and then Delina. So these are all little travel sprays. I'm bringing my white watch. This is the only watch I'm bringing with me. My Hermes bangle. And then the rest is all statement -y necklaces that I just love, which are so pretty for summer and like beaches. I can link all three of these here, but this is like a mother of pearl flat. These are really pretty amber beads. This was an FIT collab, similarly some bracelets to match. I have an all white outfit that I thought these would be really pretty. And then this is a long tangled layered chain with pearls and crystals that I can double up or just wear. I need to untangle that. And that's like a good everyday. I can wear that with jeans or whatever. I will always keep on my celestial choker that won't come off. And that is it for jewelry and accessories. And then tomorrow, once I finalize the outfit situation, I will come back and try them on. I don't think I'm gonna try them on. 
you'll see them on me when I'm there if you follow me on Instagram but I'll show you what I'm bringing in like the shoes and how I pack with packing cubes and shoe bags and I love I hate the process of like figuring out what to pack but I love the process of actually packing and rolling and making everything fit like little puzzle pieces you know so that's that. Um, what else? I can share my jewels today. I shared these on Instagram too, but all of my necklaces are from Shallow Wista. They're these beautiful, like, colored beads that I just love. And then these are um, Selendot earrings that convert to a stud. And then I just have on my everyday jewels. I'll see you tomorrow, but technically in like five seconds. A couple tips to share with you guys. Number one, I never pack any suitcase without packing cubes, my kids included. I will link my favorite set here. I don't think they have the rose gold anymore, but they have loads of different colors and styles and they come in a set of five and I love them. You can label them, there's back pockets, they can stretch and I end up rolling everything within the packing cube. So I'll lay like my blazer in this instance with the romper, I'll roll it tight so this is one and I kind of separate. So like this is my coming home outfit, like my airplane outfit home my two nighttime outfits this is just like day-to-day -day shorts and like bodysuits and tanks I have one for bathing suits and then one for like loungewear slash pajamas I just kind of wrap my undergarments in these one in these little compartments in the suitcase my hats I will stick in the middle like stick them inside of each other and then stick them in the middle and then I basically pack and roll around it so that the brims stay flat like this and then I'll usually fill up the middle so that they don't so that they keep their form so I will stuff like if I have to move stuff around then I'll do that but that is how I pack my hats unless you have one of these things which I also might do this clips onto your bag and then you can put a hat on here and this can go on your carry-on so that's an option too um, so packing cubes hats and then these canvas bags I keep my shoes in I repurpose these are from cozy earth anytime I get clothes I save them and then all my shoes go in here keeps everything clean keeps your shoes separated I have shoes with rhinestones on them so it keeps them intact but the bottoms of your shoes are nasty you don't want them like bumping up against your clothes and that is my friends my suitcase I'm gonna show you the two dinner outfits, maybe one other one. And then I always keep my going outfit, like what I'm gonna wear on the plane, out separately. Toiletries, that'll go in here at the last minute, but packing cubes forever. This is one of my dinner outfits. I shared this beautiful romper on Instagram. It is like a beigey ivory, and then it has these beautiful white sequins. The back is open, so I have to go braless or sticky bra and then I put the blazer over it this blazer is gorgeous I love all the gold button detail paired it with my little mini gold Chanel and then these are actually an Amazon find these come in tons of colors I love the pop of white and the braiding is still on trend from last summer I don't think I ever not pack a black outfit so this is actually a one shoulder romper with a little bit of a cutout and again I threw a blazer this one is from Amazon and I have to tell you that the quality is so good and I think it was around $50 also comes in white and beige I have my Badgley Mishka pumps that you can find on Amazon as well and my favorite little sparkly thing Holt Gaia Hera rhinestone bag so this will be another dinner outfit. Okay, last outfit. My friend Christina has been sharing this white, or this corset in white on Instagram. It's from Amazon. It comes in tons and tons of colors. I got it in this really pretty, like, peachy apricot color. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh my gosh. It's literally a corset. It has, like, a zipper on the back and, like, sucks you in, holds you in. I paired it. I'm not sure what I'm going to do yet. I might change it and do white, but I paired it with this denim like asymmetrical skirt from Lulu's and then these just came. This was the last thing I needed to put in my suitcase. Um, my friend Jen shared these on Instagram and I immediately contacted the SA that she got them from and I was like, do you have my size? How fun are they? They're like a Terry little slide with the hot pink. So cute. This would be a cute little 
lunch brunch outfit. So I think that's a wrap on everything that's coming to Florida with me, with the exception of one possibly Amazon package. I'm waiting my UPS to deliver it. I had some bathing suits in that order, which I'm not, obviously, you know, bathing suits. It's like, you gotta see them on. So I might just take, I might swap out the bathing suits that I'm taking, but otherwise, I hope you enjoyed this video. Make sure you're following me on Instagram if you want to see more outfit inspo. Probably not going to be on my phone a whole lot this weekend because I just really want to take a break and like have a little bit of a vacation and just be present. I haven't seen some of them in, I was trying to remember, a really long time. We talk like every day, but it's different when you're in person. So I just, I'm excited to get away. I hope you guys enjoyed this pack with me and I hope that you're all staying safe and healthy and I will see you in next week's video. Bye.